Hello, my name is Adam Powers, Chief Technology Officer here at Landcope, and this is a brief introduction to the StealthWatch Flow Replicator. The Flow Replicator is a simple web-based network appliance designed to copy and distribute UDP packets based on a rule set that you define. As UDP packets such as NetFlow messages or SNMP traps are received by the replicator, they are copied and retransmitted to the IP destinations of your choosing while preserving the original source IP and packet payload in the retransmitted packets. The StealthWatch Flow Replicator has two different modes of operation. First, there's unicast mode. In this mode of operation, the replicator is configured with an IP address and acts just like a normal network server. NetFlow, SFlow, Syslog, and other UDP-based applications send their packets directly to the replicator's IP, where they are replicated and transmitted to their final destinations. Second, there is promiscuous mode. In many situations, you may want to capture and replicate NetFlow or SNMP, but you don't want to change the configuration of all your routers to point to a new port or new syslog server. In these cases, you can place the replicator into promiscuous mode and connect the replicator to a span port or Ethernet tap to listen for packets that match the configured rules on the replicator. When packets are seen that match a given rule, they are captured, replicated, and sent to the appropriate destinations. The most important concept to understand about the StealthWatch Flow Replicator is that it maintains the original source IP of the UDP sender. When the UDP datagrams are retransmitted from the replicator, they are not sent from the IP of the replicator, but rather the IP of the original sending host. The management system receiving the UDP messages will never even know the replicator was involved. So now let's talk about capacity. The StealthWatch Flow Replicator is designed to operate at high packet rates. A single replicator supports a sustained 6,000 UDP packets per second inbound and 20,000 packets per second outbound with room to burst. Web-based reports provided that detail the volume of UDP per source and destination. The most common use of the Flow Replicator is in replicating UDP-based NetFlow and SFlow. If you have more than one NetFlow or SFlow collector technology, or you're wanting to virtualize your NetFlow collection behind a single virtual IP, the Flow Replicator is perfect for the job. You send all your UDP to the IP of the replicator, then configure rules within the replicator to further distribute as needed. As you add more NetFlow collectors, there are no changes required on your routers to enable the new collectors. You simply update the rules in the replicator and you're ready to go. Another common use for the replicator is syslog and SNMP trap replication. All network equipment can be configured to send their syslog messages to the IP of the replicator. Over time, as new syslog and SNMP-based management systems are added or their IP addresses change, instead of making changes to all the network equipment, you make a single change to the rules within the UDP replicator. So that's it. This concludes our introduction to the StealthWatch Flow Replicator. If you want more information or would like a live demonstration, feel free to visit us on the web at www.landcope.com.